Alright, so hello and uh, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. So for those of you who are new, my name is Christiane, otherwise known here as I Heart Airbrush. And today, I'm back. It's been a long time. Um, I've been gone for a while. I have filmed in the time that I've been gone, but I have not edited or posted anything. <laughs> um, and honestly, it's life. I was going through things that I needed to go through, things that needed to happen. If you hear sounds in the background, my dog is in here with me. Um, but yeah, I was going through things that I needed to sort through, that I needed to work through spiritually and mentally. And honestly, I, I'm feeling a lot better now and I'm ready just to continue doing the things that I uh, would do that make me happy. So I am filming today. Um, uh, today's video is going to be fairly simple and then I will jump into the content that I plan to put up. So yeah, um, expect to see a lot more content in 2020, a lot more airbrush focus and blending my, at least my blending <laughs> on my personal journey, blending traditional makeup with airbrush makeup. You're going to see that quite a bit here in 2020. Of course, you're going to see the full uh, face airbrush makeup and all things airbrush, but you are going to see varying things depending on what my interests are at the moment. So that being said, let's just go into today's video. I want to show you my quick everyday get ready. This is not like the full glam, full beat, um, even though this routine does require quite a bit of steps. It's really soft and natural looking. It does cover up any blemishes and discoloration on my skin without having too much makeup on the face. So this is a look that I've been rocking pretty much every single day when I'm not trying to get glammed up. Hopefully you guys find this helpful. Hopefully you enjoy it. Like I said, it's very natural. It's not something that's floating around on the internet a lot nowadays, but I wanted to go ahead and put it out there because not all of us are glamazons and not all of us want to pretend to be glamazons anymore. So so <laughs> I want to just go ahead and give you something nice, wearable, and natural, and that's what we're going to do today. So hopefully you like this video, and hopefully you'll stay until the end. We'll see. Okay, let's get into it. So the first thing that I have been doing lately is, and you're going to notice, I've changed up a lot of things to my routine. Like, I'm no longer airbrushing concealer under my eyes. I haven't really been airbrushing my um, brows either because I have, like, these beautiful luscious brows that grew in and I'm just like I'm so sh in shock and awe of them too um but they're here and like I'm enjoying every moment of having all of this brow hair like this is not filled in at all thank you uh, castor oil anyways so the first thing that I like to do with my face is conceal because I do have blemishes and stuff like that anytime I break out I do get hyperpigmentation so you'll see like a lot of that especially around here. Um, anywhere where I've had reoccurring breakouts all over that place. I'm not too worried about the discoloration around my eyes, just more so around my face. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal that with Dynair's Neutralizing Camouflage Line. I have here in the bottle olive beige, but I did mix olive beige with some vanilla because I needed it a little bit lighter. So in this bottle, even though it says olive beige, it is a 50-50 mixture of olive beige and vanilla. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. After I clean out my airbrush, I'll be right back because I did go ahead and give it a good soak with the cap. So I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back and with my um, Crystal Series compressor on from Dynair, of course, that's the one that I'm using right now. I would use the one, but I forgot to charge it last night, so it's on the charger right now. I know you can use it on the charger, but I go between my bathroom and my office and I don't want to get up. So I have my Crystal Series compressor here. So I'm just going to go ahead and use that for today with my Ket airbrush. I like to use the Ket. This is the 0.25 millimeter airbrush. It has a nice, fine, smooth spray. And I really like using it for concealing because the spray is so fine. It gives the most beautiful like finish and everything. Like it's completely undetectable. I love it. So I'm going to go ahead and take some of that concealer. Just two drops. Test it out on the tissue. Looks good. Okay, so um, I have it in here, and I'm going to go ahead and start concealing now, starting with some of these beautiful bad boys right here. And I'm just going to take just light uh, pulls on the lever, just like so, just a really small amount of product. And I'm just looking for not so much the blemish to be covered up, but just for the skin to match the surrounding skin, as you can see. So like you see, you can see a little bit of a shadow of it. That's what I'm looking for. I'm looking just to kind of neutralize the area and kind of disguise it, but not cover it up because I don't want the cover up to be detectable. 
you know the skin natural has a lot of uh, color varying color textures and all of that so if you cover it up a, a decent amount without covering it all the way it'll still look like natural skin you know the skin's not perfect even people who have the best skin there are slight imperfections as far as rosiness, redness, like there is no depiction of the perfect skin out there today. So we're just trying to create a nice natural looking base. So as you can see, it's getting covered up really, really nicely without uh, looking really detectable and that's the goal here. So I'm just going to go ahead and get under at least the jawline a little bit, stretch the skin, just kind of pull it up. Face, face is not a flat surface, so you definitely want to manipulate the skin to go ahead and make sure you get the accurate coverage without applying too much. Now I left this part in because I want you to go ahead and see as the blemishes like quickly and easily diffuse out. That way you can see the process. Now there's one under here. I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to mess with it because it was a whitehead this morning and I did uh, properly extract it. So I'm going to leave it alone. I'm not going to apply any product on it. It's just one of those things that I'm not insecure about anymore when I go out. So I'm just going to leave it there. But by all means, if you have something down there that you want to cover, like cover it up. I just, I don't, it doesn't bother me that much. And I want to make sure that I let my skin heal and breathe before I apply anything on it. So I'm just going to continue covering up the rest of these blemishes, diffusing them, <laughs> as you can see, beautifully diffusing them out. Okay, and then around the nostrils, I have a lot of redness, so I'm just going to go ahead and okay, just kind of diffused it out. It's a little pink, but for the most part, it's diffused out. There, and I'm pretty happy with that. See, most of the spots are diffused out, so, you know, hopefully... I'll try to get a picture from the footage before, because I didn't take a picture. Sorry, guys. Um, but I'll try to get a picture of the footage before, showing the side of my face, what it looked like before, and what it looks like now, so you can kind of see the difference, how everything is diffused out and camouflaged. Neutralizing camouflage. Okay, the thing that I like about that line a lot is that it sprays on really thin, but it gives you a lot of coverage when you slowly build it up. Okay, fleshed out my airbrush really good and you wanna make sure to do that anytime you are using the neutralizing camouflage line because it does set down and dry really fast. So you wanna make sure that you are flushing out your airbrush in between shades just to kind of avoid a headache down the line or build up. Build up, headache, same difference. Um, so what I'm gonna go into now is I'm gonna neutralize and camouflage line once more with the shade Honey Beige. This shade is closer to my base shade. She's closer to my to my to my foundation shade <laughs> does, that, does that make sense it's a little bit lighter but it is closer to my base shade so I'm gonna go ahead and apply this over top to make sure everything looks nice and seamless so I'm just gonna take two drops yes two you don't need much when you're trying to look flawlessly undetectable <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna apply it where I have some discoloration I'm gonna crank up my dial because I do know it is a little bit of lag crank it up a little bit and just be careful on my lever that way I can still use it and not waste the product. And I'm just going to lightly spray over the areas that I concealed and where I have like discoloration to kind of even everything out. Because I turned the dial up, I might end up needing more product. But it's okay. As you can see, it's like evening that out. That's what we want to do. Light passes. Okay, and then above my brows, I have like this light area that I want it to blend with the rest of my face. So I do like to apply some, apply some there. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. Just to kind of neutralize out that really light. Make everything blend seamlessly. And then a little bit around the nostrils. Even up the tone there. Not too much. Go in, just add a little bit more right here because the shadow of that one is still very prominent. Okay, and that's it. No more. Two drops. Evened out my skin tone nice and well. So, and I know this is not like, like I said before, it's not super glam, but like this is what I do every day to kind of be comfortable with my skin. It's like more of a, a realistic my skin but better look. 
So, it's my skin, but better, you know? A little bit better, not like, you know, flawless, metahuman, superhuman better. <laughs> like, this is like human better, you know? So I'm just gonna go ahead and flush out my airbrush, swap it out for my other airbrush because I'm gonna go ahead and get into the rest of the face stuff. So I will be right back. Okay, so I cleaned up my airbrush. I swapped it for the next airbrush that I'm gonna be using. But right now, I like to go in and do my brows because I have to touch my face because I am using a traditional brow product. I like to go ahead and just do that already and then do my face afterwards. That way I don't kind of mess anything up while everything is trying to set down. So I've really been loving this brow pencil. It's super affordable, super inexpensive, but it does the job on my brows. And this is the ColourPop Boss Brows. I have the shade, I think this is like soft black, yeah. And it's just like a little pencil end on this side. Ooh, cover my face so it'll focus. Little pencil end on this side, a little spoolie end on this side. Love it. It gives you double duty and I can get my brows done really fast with it. I have a lot of brow to work with, so you know it's even faster. <laughs> so I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of soften the line here. And when I first started filling in my brows with a pencil, I felt so weird because like I had filled my brows in with the airbrush for years. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish filling in my brows. Okay, so that is my brows filled in with the Boss Brow Pencil. So I'm just going to go ahead and close up the pencil. And then to finish them off, I like to take the Glossier uh, Boy Brow in the shade. I believe this is just black yeah this is black this is the darker shade that they have there's only like four of them but i like to take this and kind of just groom the hairs in the front make sure that everything is laying right so that it looks nice and fluffy and natural okay and there you go fluffy natural brows super quick and easy with a pencil of course i still do airbrush my brows when i'm trying to go full glam but for the most part like the day-to-day -day stuff i i don't go that hard okay so now that my brows are done i like to go in and conceal the under eye area i don't mean conceal like completely block out i mean like diffuse okay anytime i'm doing anything natural like for every day it's just about diffusing the things that are considered to be flaws on my skin so that it can look like my skin but better. So to diffuse the discoloration on the under eye area, I am going to go in with the NARS Radiant and Creamy Concealer in the shade M2 Ginger. So I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out with my fingers. As you can see, I just use a little bit and I'm just going to go ahead and just kind of blend it all in with my fingers. So nothing new or fantastic. <laughs> Here, it's just blending out concealer. <laughs> Okay, and that is it for the under eye area. Like I said, it's nothing fancy or anything. It's just nice and softly diffused. Um, as the day goes on, it'll get a little bit glossy because my eyes are a little bit oily, but it won't crease, which is why I really like the NARS Radiant and Creamy and why I use such a little bit because I get like that diffusion, but I don't get like the creasing and all of the other stuff that comes with applying too much there. So that's what I like to leave it. I don't like to powder because I like a natural look. Like I said, I like undetectable so that's where we're leaving the concealer the next thing is to do the rest of the face so I'm just gonna go ahead and go again with my Diner compressor and my temp 2 SP 40 I'm just gonna give it a little flush out with water and then for blush I've been loving using desert rose as blush it's like the most I have the closest match to like my natural flush so I've been loving using it so I'm just gonna take a drop of it just a drop you don't need that much. Okay, and then I'm just gonna apply my flush, bring that life back to my skin. Just keeping my distance, as you can see, pretty far. I want it to be diffused out, not concentrated. The bridge of my nose. And blend back to the other side. See, and it kind of just brings like a natural flush to my face. And I'll show you like the before, you know, clipping from the video. I'm not taking any pictures as I'm going I'm just going but I'll show you a little before clipping and the after it just kind of makes your face look a lot more natural there you go see how it just adds like life and a softness to the skin it's a lot less dull rosy youthful huh yeah 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 so I've been liking doing it like this because I really enjoy the look that it gives me and I feel like it makes me look younger you know that's the goal right now so yeah I'm liking it a lot so I'm just gonna go ahead and fill in any sparse areas kind of blend down a little bit but yeah she cute I like it all right so I'm just gonna flush out the rest and then I'm gonna apply a little bit of bronze around the edge of my face and for that I'm gonna be using dark almond from Diner soft glow line 
I switched between almond and nutmeg, but lately I've been more into like the almond, so that's what I'm going to be using today. So I'm just going to apply it to the outer rim of my forehead here. Kind of blend it up, give me a little bit of color so it doesn't look like I've been like straight up in the dead of winter, you know. And then I'm just going to lightly contour out the nose just a little bit. We just, we're just adding shadow there. And then I'm going to apply some here on the hollow of my ear, like I said, to give me like tanned color. Because it's really light right there because my hair covers it. And then I'm just going to apply a little bit underneath the jawline. And then on the chin. And then a little bit over the middle. There, because you know, it's like tan. Running out, you can hear it. Okay, and that is it for bronze and contour. So the last and final step I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over it with a very light layer of foundation because I am going out. If I wasn't going out, this would be it. Honestly, this may be some mascara and a glossy lip and that would literally be it. That's what I would go out with and take my kid to school, you know, run my quick errands and all of that good stuff. But because I'm going to be going out and actually doing things, going into several different places and stuff like that, I am going to apply a little bit of foundation. So for this, I'm going to be using the Diner Radiance line, my favorite line. Literally, it's been my favorite since the first time I've ever tried it. I just love that creamy skin finish that it gives. So I'm going to be mixing Honey Beige with Golden Olive. Okay, I'm going to back bubble a little bit. Mix it up. A little, not too much. And then I'm just going to focus more on the outer rim of my face. I'm blending down my neck, my ears, not applying too much. Like I said, you want it to be undetectable, so you don't want to ever like apply too much anywhere, especially in the center of your face. Like I have a lot of texture there, so if I apply too much there, it's really noticeable. So I like to just keep the coverage toward the outer rim of my face, unless I need extra coverage on the inner my hairline you know neck okay and that's it for foundation so I'm just gonna flush out my brush and then I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a highlight using Dynair's um, opalescent highlighter and this is the shade that's just peachy it comes in four shades like this highlighter comes in four shades but you can also use any of the opalescents or shimmers as highlighters if you want to as well they all virtually go out the same way all through the airbrush so you can definitely use it however you see fit or whatever your needs are you don't have to just use a highlighter because it says highlighter if that makes any sense so i'm gonna make sure to shake it up because i do want that nice soft glow and these highlighters definitely give you that i'm just gonna take a drop not too much this out on a tissue okay and then i'm just gonna pop it right here not layering up too much just enough to give me that nice soft glow that almost like dewy skin where I want it and then just kind of emphasize the bridge of my nose right here little pop on the tear duct so that when the light hits my eyes it looks nice and bright and awake and then I'm gonna apply a little bit above the brow like here anywhere that like my skin naturally glows right here in the cupid's bow and then a little bit more and then whatever is left over I'm just gonna apply it on my neck to give the rest of my body a nice glow. Okay, so I went ahead and put my nose ring in because my foundation is all finished and all that good stuff. So the next thing I like to do to kind of finish off my look, I'll either apply eyeliner, mascara, or just mascara. So today I'm just gonna do mascara and I'm just gonna curl my lashes like so. So now I'm gonna go in with mascara. Now that my lashes are curled, my lashes kind of go down naturally. They are fairly long, but like you can't ever see it because they kind of point down. Uh, that's Pacific Islander in me, like can I say? Um, but yeah, so I curl it just to give it a little bit of oomph to go up, and then I'm gonna go ahead and apply mascara. I am in the market looking for a new mascara. So if you have any recommendations, please put them down below. Okay, and that is my lashes just with a touch of mascara on them just to make them look a little bit more defined and a little bit more present. Uh, the last and final step is to go in with a gloss. And here I'm just using the Joseph Colors glosses. I absolutely love this these glosses. This is called Just Because. And I'm just going to kind of give my lips a little juicy wah-wah. Nothing like super perfect, you know. Just kind of messy and beautiful. Perfectly imperfect. 
and yeah so this is pretty much it this is the makeup that i do on the day to day um it's nothing like super fancy or anything but it's definitely a my skin but better kind of look and finish it does make me feel pretty confident i do still have my freckles showing through i have that youthful flush face with diffused blemishes so my skin looks nice and soft it doesn't look like i'm having any hormonal issues <laughs> no i'm just kidding um but it doesn't look like i'm having any skin issues right now it just looks like my skin is nice natural and beautiful and this is the kind of look that i like to rock on the day to day when i'm not getting glammed up or filming this is just very simple and easy and it gives me enough of a confidence boost to go ahead and do everything i need to do without the judgments of people like looking like a tired mom and all that good stuff so yeah this is it i'll try to insert a before and after like i said i, I didn't take any pictures before so I'll, I'll try to insert something so that you can see like you know what it looked like before but yeah this is like good i like it and it makes me feel confident and beautiful and at the end of the day that is really the goal of why i may why why i may why i may <laughs> why i wear makeup uh because i do want to feel confident in my own skin and all of that good stuff i do like looking put together and feeling put together and makeup does play a part in that for me so that is about it for this video i hope you found it helpful and entertaining if you did give it a big thumbs up sharing this video helps me out as well so if you have the platform for it please share this video i would appreciate it a ton and as always remember to subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed and if you are subscribed or if you choose to subscribe today don't forget to hit that little bell icon right next to the subscribe button and turn on your notifications. That way you get the quickest updates anytime I upload a video and we have a lot coming in 2020. Okay, we got a lot. I've been filming. I haven't been posting or editing, but I have been filming. Okay, so we got a lot coming. All right, anyways, thank you so much for your patience with me. If you've been here for a long time, thank you for sticking it in with me. If you're new here, welcome. I'm looking forward for you to be joining in on my airbrush journey and me to be joining in on yours. So don't forget to comment down below if you're new or if you've been here for a long time. It makes me really happy and warms my heart to see those comments and be able to interact with you guys. All right, so that is about it. I hope to see you all in my next video thank you again for tuning in and yeah much love guys bye